Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to Kenshi and welcome back to the story of Heralds of Okran. Now my friends, today we need to stand strong for the beasts. They are coming. Let's pause. As you can see over here, we have the shack coming in and uh, oh boy, it's a great big ass group of shack once again and they have a bunch of hundred guardians among them. Very strong with heavy big ass weapons this is the war leader over here currently now of course uh, we don't have allies coming to help us because the paladins they are afraid clearly what we have is these six turret guards with stoics set up here as well and then the man in here so the main herald group over here uh, are on the stairs because I don't imagine them getting through the gate in any 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 time anytime soon. But we know that when this big group smashes in here, some of them are just gonna be teleported inside because you know that's how the game works apparently. So those men are gonna be these guys over here are gonna be here to deal with them. Now of course we also have our other boys over here that are sta standing here just you know as a backup if we need them and let's hope we won't but we might now let's go through these so there's a couple of things that I did uh, in between while we waited on this attack so mainly we did a lot of training with these guys so we have people like red over here is now in 34 and 45 Dara is deep into the 40s really got a ton of skill AD is over 40 over here we got uh, Sean Lim over 40 we got swoop over 40 and that's these guys who were training over here. I think even Steve went in there once, maybe. Possibly even Lucian, I don't know. Uh, also, we got a bunch of people from Ocran's post training, uh, but I left them uh, as our secondary right now. Like people like Panzer, he definitely trained there as well. Infern and Godric got their martial arts, but I'm keeping them away for a bit because they are not wearing the heaviest of them gear, so that's why they're not in the main group right now. Same for Buck, who was there with us before, but he's uh, he's definitely ready. But I do want to have some people as a back a backup over here to you know be strong as well. But yeah, uh, Buck also got plenty of skills from that. So this is our composition, of course, our archers over here in Stoic Sun, who would be of course ready to fight them face on as well if need be, but. Well, let's for now see what happens whenever these guys arrive. So boys, start sniping as soon as you can. And do it now. There you go. That's the spirit. Give me the hundreds. There you go. Collapse these beasts. And the problem is whenever these guys smash in here. There you go. We have a couple through. A couple not too many this is good this is good we can definitely deal with these fools over here Shack revenge has been defeated what uh, I, I wouldn't call those defeated <laughs> I would say that's a lot of them still over here I would definitely not call those defeated by any shape or form now let's see how much damage the turret guards can do before this gets taken down as you can see uh, it's not that easy to deal with these big boys over here get them get them my friends don't let them swing at all uh, red everybody's still up that's the most important thing everybody's still up don't let him swing he's attacking Billy this, this hundred guardian is quite tough good okay 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 Wolfie damn man your arm is not in a good position now what we're gonna do I think is we're gonna grab weapons off of any of these guys I'm not gonna go repair the gates I will not do this the reason for that is I will just I'll let them through if they get through I'll let them through but these guys that did manage to get through we don't want them getting back up and causing too many issues now do we definitely not there's one more on the floor over here but you guys are in the way so please start moving Steve Lurem. Now I don't know how the injuries are looking on our guys. Lucian is in danger of dying. 
Uh, if it's just limbs that might be lost, that's okay. Kane's head is not good. I think Lucian uh, is gonna go back here. And uh, we're gonna grab Panzer, Infern, Godric, and Buck off of hold. I'm gonna bring them over here. Because these guys will get through soon. Actually, it's not gonna be that many that are gonna actually get through. If they get through. Because it seems to me that we are doing the job, my friends. Oh, they are fleeing. Oh, let's go. We have done it. <laughs> well, hello then, my friends. We have absolutely done it. Oh, good. You can go off of hold. Everybody can go back doing their jobs. You guys too. Oh, that's amazing. Nobody even went down. We have a lot of repairing to do, but we also have a lot of people that we can capture and that we will capture for damn sure. Especially if there's 100 guardians, we're grabbing those. They are very useful when it comes to uh, training. Drumkey, you can grab this man. Kane, you go grab this man. And let's bring them where they belong. Alright, I must admit, this went well this went very well i'm happy for it how many cages do we have empty i have a feeling we're gonna have to build more cages uh put him in kane you put this man in here uh, actually you can't because the the gates are not open let's try this again good more 100 guardians that we can smack around red very well done pick this 100 guardian karma uh, this guy's just dying. He's no hard 100 guardian, so we don't really care about. Neither is this man. How about this man? This is 100 guardian. Pick him up, Karma. Karma and Red. Let's have you guys bring these uh, these trophies. Shall we name them? Name them up here. Karma, put him in there. And Red, you put him in there. Good. Dara didn't even take a beating. Wow. That's very impressive. Uh, Kane and Dromkey are coming. Dromkey, put us man in here. Kane, put us man in here. Good. We're gonna need to heal them as well, or else they might bleed out. But uh, I think this is gonna this is gonna do it. Dromkey, first aid this hundred guardian. Keep him up. Kane, you will need to first aid your hundred guardian. So let's do that. Actually, they do have their own healing items if they needed that, but yeah. Just so they don't bleed out right away. We do have some more cages over there. So we're gonna need to use those as well. Perfect. Are you... You're medicking, you're medicking. Good, good. Very well, my friends. Very well. And this is done. I think Panzer managed to go through. Yeah, good job, Panzer. You might wanna raise the gate. But this is a beautiful sight, I must admit. Very nice sight. Many dead check. Please give me more. Let's uh, throw this one out of town, Kane. He's not worth our time. Throw him down. Perfect, perfect. Well, that's uh, definitely a good start to the episode. I am happy. Let me show you our nice new collection of 100 guardians in the brand new cages we just built for them. Look at how happy they are. Oh, they couldn't be happier. These guys are standing up. But uh, that doesn't really help them. Do we have any more sticks for them? Not really. That's okay. There's a lot of these men that want to fight us. And we'll gladly fight them. Sure, some of them are still just on the floor and sleeping and such. But the rest we can definitely use as training. Dick is the guardian of the galaxy over here. The gates have been repaired. There's a bunch of corpses just lying on the floor. And this is what you get, Shaq. Next time, just send us, I don't know, Shaq Challengers. Send us Asada. Like, if Asada came over here uh, last time, instead of to the other place, that would have been a whole different story. We might have finished the war there, then and there, and all that stuff. But, uh, alas, that was not to be. So, what do we do today is the good question. 
we could go and recruit a couple more people. That's something we could do. Grab some more people, get them towards us, join us. Uh, I would like to grab the archers and uh, get the archers all the way down, you know, where they need to be, and start sieging Squin or something with archers, you know, just shooting from afar and then running away. Now, the question is, what are our run speeds? Santorini. Not so uh, fast due to the encumbrance. Okay, you need to be stronger. Sniper, same issues right there. Needs to be stronger. Uh, Kyle Roman, same issue. Needs to be stronger, but alas, he has a lot of food cubes, so maybe there's that. Of course, Stoic Sun doesn't really count when it comes to that. So I think what I'm gonna do. You guys, what you, what you find over here? I think one of these ones were yelling. Oh, you healed yourself. Well, that was a, a bad mistake, my friend. A bad mistake. Let's get these guys away from here. You guys don't need to uh, train your strength anymore. I think we're gonna get some of the archers on us. Santorini? Oh, don't click on the basic first aid kit. Let's, uh, let's get you out here. Sniper? You too need uh, that training, and so does Kyle Rowan. So uh, let's get these three guys over here to be training a bit. Uh, the rest of the snipers are going to be more than enough to deal with us. And you guys over here, I don't think you guys need more training really. Like your weight bench training can go away. Like you are definitely strong enough. Now you can have your job, whatever you want to do. Same for you, Dyra. Of course, disposal, all that stuff. There you go, red. Yeah, you're strong enough as well. Good for you. No need to do the weight bench. Perfect. All right. We're still healing the people that have been injured. And there was a lot of those. Sean, let me can get out of there. Wolf needs some heals. Solar is fine. Illusion is fine. That's good to hear. And do we still have anybody lying up here in beds? Steve, I'm sure you're fine. Kane is fine. Noel is fine. Swoop. Soap is fine. Soap, you can wake up. Do your thing. I don't care if you just sit on the bench. That's fine. Actually, you can train a bit more, but whatever. That's fine. We have other people that can do the training. Wolfie still needs some healing. Red could use some healing as well. AD still needs some healing, and he is healing. Alright. Uh, I'd say uh, I'm happy with how things went over here. I'm happy... Uh, we didn't even need to use our secondary boys. Not that many broke through when they all rushed over here, so this is good. Challengers are coming in six days. Not too worried about them. I wonder why we didn't have any uh, Shaq coming to... Not Shaq. Any of the Holy Nation boys coming to help us. But, oh well. What are you doing? No turret guards for you right now. I don't know why they do that, but they do prefer turret guards over anything else if they think there's a danger coming, which is, to be honest, kind of cool. But, uh, not really needed right now. There's one thing I kind of ignored, or forgot about, or forgot to show you guys, is that Lake has been working over here on this uh, chain armor crafting bench for a long time now. And look how many of these black and channel pieces we have. Each of these sells for 10k. <laughs> Well, the masterwork one sells for even more, but we're gonna keep those and put them on our own people. But I must admit, that's some really good stuff right there. And Buck is happily ever after crafting over here. His armor smithing is also at 81, so Buck could definitely do something good for us. While uh, Lake is at 94. Unfortunately, she's not a scorched lander like Buck is. Otherwise, her armor smith would probably hit 100 by now, and you know, whenever you're at 100, it's kind of masterwork guarantee, so we need to get her there. Now, where is our man, the preacher, and what is he doing? That's a good question, but he has been making a ton of these robotic components, so we have a lot of robotic components if we need to make some more hands and arms and such. In fact, he has uh, 80 robotics, so this should now guarantee specialist grade uh, arms and legs whenever we need them so that's that's a good thing as well so I think all we, that needs now that we need is to get these guys a bit stronger 
So they are not going to be over encumbered anymore. And they are actually working that. Kyle still has a bit to go. And in the meantime, while we wait, I think I'm going to grab a couple of our boys and have them do some more fighting over here. Like Red definitely needs some more fighting skills, needs some uh, actual melee combat points. Wolf, he could use some defensive points. So let's get him there, get him beaten up a bit, because why not? Uh, these guys are pretty good. Noil? Mm, oh, that's fine. Let's actually get Buck in here. He needs some extra points as well. But yeah, let's get Noil. Let's get Noil in here, and we're gonna do some of that fighting. Uh, Panzer as well, for sure. Panzer needs uh, some of that as well. Good, that's, that's gonna be a couple of people that we can use. Now, on some of the guys that I was training with, I actually gave them crappier weapons than they had, like Buck, this is this counts as a katana, so he was just using that. Uh, Red was using this refitted blade ninja blade. Panzer, we didn't have on that. Actually, we I think we did, but fine, we're just gonna leave him be with the katana. Uh, I guess Fallen uh, Noel can uh, get himself a different uh, weapon over here. These guys had some crappy planks, so you can go get that one. And Wolfie, uh, in fact, Darrow has a worse desert sable, saber, so let's uh, let's actually do that. And we can uh, we can do this. So maybe one of these, one of these for you, Noel. Not that you can actually carry any of those extras. That's smart of me. So you pick one of those. Yeah, that's older for the blade. That's gonna work extremely well for you. Let's get here and we're gonna have Steve pick up your actual blade so I don't forget it. There you go. And uh, Dara, you coming? Dara is gonna trade over here then. Better. There you go. And Dara, you can, you can go do your thing. Good. Okay, that's five people. that are gonna do some training today. And I'm content. Now, let's see. These guys should be standing up already. Like this 100 Guardian, he's ready to go. Uh, who are we sending in first? I think uh, Wolfie can go in first. And maybe Noel. Wolfie and Noel, let's get you guys in here first. You guys will hold and go back here. And we're gonna get these men to release this strong 100 Guardian. So just set him free. And then let's go fight. Two on one? Why not? I want to see how good uh, Noel does. We don't, unfortunately, have the crappiest of the weapons, but actually they're really doing good. Two we one. Not so bad. Maybe I should just uh, let them one on one. But though that's mostly then uh, defense training because they don't even get attacks in. That's that's acceptable. Okay, they really did get this guy pre down pretty fast. Okay, Wolfie definitely got some defense out of that. Good, let's first aid this this man. Throw him into his cage again. And uh, Noel. Let's get you to find this man. Set him free. Or woman. Vengeance. No vengeance for you, Shek. Oh, they are blocking. Wolfie and Noel. Show us what you can do. Show us that you are the greatest. He's... he's... I don't know. He's not really doing that well on attacks. I mean, he has a heavy weapon, but he still... He has good enough strength that he should be able to get enough attacks in to actually level up. As you can see, he is definitely getting attacks in, but he's mostly being swung at more than he actually attacks, so... It's hard for him to actually get attacks in while Wolfie, with a lower or faster weapon, a lighter weapon, is getting way more attacks in. That's okay. Uh, I want to get Noel to at least 40. You know, and then, then he can go rest. But I think this is, this is good practice. I, I like doing this. Sure, it's not practice out there versus actual enemies. This is all in controlled simulation, if you will. Uh, but, since we are against so much more powerful enemies whenever we are out there, because, you know, we are right now at war with the Shack and they are 
much, much more powerful than we are. There you go, 40 melee attack, that's all I was asking for. Much more powerful than we are. We kind of need to, you know, do it this way right now, just to level up. I mean, I could go uh, and just explore around the world and fight different enemies, but that wouldn't work extremely well with uh, how I want to do the whole storytelling uh, thing, you know? That's that's kind of why we're doing this. Now, give me some hundred guardians. There you go. We don't want to fight those that are not of the hundred guardian kind. There you go. And you know, might even get Wolfie some defense now. Wolfie's getting more offense while Noel is getting more uh, defense, I think. He's 48 right now. That's, that's pretty acceptable. Can you even get him to 50, maybe? Well, Wolfie is more of an offensive person. Although, uh, Wolfie's main weapon gives him way more defense. So that all kind of, you know, works out well in the long run. Don't try pushing him through the fence, though, please. I would really appreciate that. I would. Nice, nice. <laughs> you guys are hitting this 100 Guardian as well in, the, in his cage. Poor dude. Don't do that to him. Oh, boy. He's getting you chopped. Noel is really going up there on defense, but he got the offense, so that's important. While Wolfie is going almost to the 50 on offense. He gets a couple more attacks, he's actually on 50. Perfect, perfect. These two are doing well together, I think. They will get one more, and then they are allowed to rest. You will pick this man up, and you will throw him in the cage. You guys healed up? Let's find us uh, one more. This is Scratch. This is a hundred guardian, but he doesn't have a weapon. Actually, let's go... No, 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 don't set him free. Uh, actually, we have to set him free. We can't... We can't loot him. Or we can't heal him. He's gonna heal him... Heal himself. That's acceptable, then. Wolfie, it seems like your arm is not doing good. Okay, this one is not gonna do anything against us due to the fact that they don't have... Weapons. So... Yeah, much easier. Okay, let's first aid this hundred guardian. Let's get it uh, ready. Put it in here. We're gonna need to be attacked by some more hungry bandits of sorts, so we can actually. Uh... Oh, this this is a big man. So we can actually get some proper weapons for that. Wolfie, I believe in you. You're getting you're getting to fifty melee attack, dude. No, we're fighting the other one in the in there again. That's stupid. There you go. This, what just happened? Dude, we, we want to come back? <laughs> what happened to this man? He went away. Oh, no, it went down. No, wake up. He's waking up. You guys move away a bit. You guys move away a bit. Wolfie is uh, training his defense a bit. There you go, 50, 45, 46 even. I'd say that's pretty good. And he got to 50 melee defense. Alright, I'll take it. These guys did an extremely good job. Now it's on these three. Just take this guy down and then you can go fight the others. If you can. Now Wolfie's gonna get back up. Oh, they are down. Alright, you guys finish him off. Do what these guys could not do. <laughs> This guy is just running. Buck, where, where are you going, my dude? Where are you going? Nice, nice stab. There you go, we got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Alright. Go first aid this man. He, he's quite a beast, I must admit. Good. Pick him up. It's time to put him back into the cage. Well, let's see. So, Noel. 42.50. I'd say that's pretty good. And then we had Wolfie, 50-46. You two guys did extremely well. You're now no longer needed in training and you can go onwards to sleep. Alright, so I did arm all of these Shaq now that we have newly captured. And let's see, so we have Buck at 38-41, Panzer 32-46 and Red at 35-46. So nobody's really amazing at attacks. That's okay, I did get Panzer... Uh, crappier Vakizashi so we can use that so these three are not gonna be on hold anymore 
And they're gonna go and start with releasing the first hundred guardian out oh, there. There you go. Fight this man. And let's do good. Don't push him through the fence, though. No. Okay, go attack now. So this should be three versus one should be better for our offense training, but they're they're all good on defense, so offense is definitely something we are looking for over here. Right, and people like Buck is getting there. Also, his katana skill is definitely going up. You know, they they are all using the same weapons that they would otherwise use. In fact, all these three guys are katana users, surprisingly. Oh, uh, this this man just bled out. That's, you know, they've already been injured from their battle when they came charging in and trying to destroy our town, so that's, that's the way it is. Yeah, you can see this one also doesn't have bloods ready. Uh, just just pull back a bit, let it, let it come closer. There you go, now fight it. There you go, perfect. Tag these 100 guardians. Of course, they are, the 100 guardians are better than we are, but... Three on one should be plenty easy. Just need to get those attacks up. There you go. Buck getting up to 40s. And then we have uh, red. Okay, maybe. Maybe just doing 3 1 is too much. I think we're gonna have. I don't know, red is gonna stay back for a second. While Buck. Yeah, Buck and Panzer do the jump. For a bit, because these guys are also injured. So let's get Red back here. Let's get her on hold. Red, you go back there. You'll get your chance. Let's set this this one free. Go away. And attack it. <laughs> yes, we do want to fight. Panzer and Buck. Two tiny katana users. Now that's a bit different. You can see. Okay, looks like Buck is already in the 40s. Panzer still has ways to go, especially in his attack. 35 now, though. His defense is good, but he used to be a blunt user. Then we change him to katana user, so that's why that kind of, you know, is different. Maybe we can switch him back to blunt by now. That wouldn't be too terrible. We could. We for sure could have just one person doing the blunt. Why not? Why not? But I do want to get his uh, melee combat or 40 first. Good, healing up. Perfect. Yeah, they got this one on blood loss again. That is, that seems to be the tradition for now. Let's put him in here. Bug, how's your leg? It's gonna be just fine. This one is just sitting on the floor. What a lazy bastard. Set him free. Got a death wish. Yup. Fight him. Buck, I don't even know what you're doing there. Sometimes he just does some weird swinging. Oh, nice stabs in the back. So the weapon that Buck is using does uh, extra blood loss damage and it has 90% armor penetration. So it's it's really good against these guys, you know. Uh, we're gonna bleed this guy out before he does anything crazy as well. 36 melee combat. He might not get to 40 today, Panzer. But uh, we'll definitely try that. Ooh, Buck's down. Buck is getting back up. Oh, his uh, he's leg is almost out. Red, it's time for you to come and help. These men need your help. <laughs> Buck, where is your leg? <laughs> oh my god, this, this is crazy. Alright, that's uh, first day this 100 Guardian. I think uh, Buck... He's over 40 on both of his skills. I think it's time for him to uh, call it for today. Yeah, I think Buck, you can uh, go away from here for now. And Red and Panzer are gonna do their thing. Buck, you just go and rest, my dude. Looks like Panzer's leg is not in a good position either. Uh, but we do want to get his uh, attack even higher. Just the way it is. So Red. Let's go set this man free. And then Panzer, you go in. Oh, wow. He hit her for 54, huh? And the leg. You nasty bastard. He, they can really do a lot of damage. A lot of damage with that crappy stick they still have. They can still do a lot. That's just the way it is. 
But this is gonna prepare our people. What I'm aiming at is that our fighters have at least 40 in skills, which we're doing quite well on actually getting there to 40. Panzer, I think he's really... Panzer and Red, I guess, are the ones really lagging behind there. But they do have good melee defense, so that's important. It's uh, easier for them to level that up when they just get beaten up constantly by this tough shack. I mean, Panzer is very close to getting this to 50. So I, I wouldn't mind seeing that. And Red is also getting there. So maybe, maybe for Panzer we're gonna have the Preacher make him a uh, better weapon or something like that. Uh, and by better weapon, we can make him a blunt weapon. He's been using his uh, katanas right now. Uh, I don't know if we have the ability to make jits or anything like that, but we could attempt doing that right now. Let's uh, have a battle with the last couple of remaining hundred guardians over here. Let's see if you can get uh, Rad and Panzer up where they belong in their skills. Panzer is getting there on both of these, and Red as well. She is almost at 40 melee attack. There you go, she's at 40. Her both skills are now at 40, so just let's get uh, Panzer out there as well. And then we are good. Hey, don't try getting him through that. Through the fence, because that might be obnoxious. They're both really limping right now. <laughs> okay, Panzer, working on it. He might even get that to 50, might not. Just don't push him to the fence, that's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking, my friends. Okay, looking good. This man is down. We have bandits moving towards us. Hey, nobody's afraid of no bandits. Put him in. And let's do some first aiding on this man. And then we have this man. Last but not the least. Not doing too peachy. You guys are both slow. Red. Hey, you're slow. You're faster than that. Panzer, let's have you move a bit over here. So Red did get to 40s. Panzer, he is on the edge on both of his skills. Let's set this man free. Yeah, you, you heal yourself, that's okay. And now we attack. Come at us. You have 69 in attack? We got this. Now if both of them go down, that might be a slight problem, but the thing is... Uh, this guy is not feeling so good. Alright, Panzer. Talk to me. Okay, almost 40 attack. There you go, 40 attack, good. Now let's have let's have him hit you a couple of times. How's Red? Okay, Red, let's pull you back. Let's have uh, Panzer get smacked around a bit. So he can... There you go, he's, he's at 50. Never mind. Don't hold. Let's finish this battle, and then we're good. Okay, Red is also really good right now. Good for him that his uh, arm is not doing so peachy. No! Come on! I freaking hate this! Ah, oh, Why? <laughs> why? Kane and Sean, Lim Sean Lim's got this. It's just... just... Can she? why do you have to be like this sometimes, huh? You two deserve some rest, and there's no question about that. Let's make it up here, Panzer. Let's move in here. Wolf, you're almost fine. Red, go in there. Panzer, go in here. Uh, could somebody like pick up this hundred guardian? Sean Lem, he's all yours. I think uh, all of my fighters that I want to be fighters are now over 40 in skills. So as far as I'm concerned, that's pretty much acceptable, at least they will be able to hold for a while when they go fight out there. How long will they be able to hold? Who knows, but maybe, just maybe, we're not uh, gonna have such a terrible mess happening like we had last time. We will see about that though. Uh, did I not send Panzer up? Wolfie, get, get out of here, dude. We're sending Panzer up here. And finally, the day has come. When we are going out there once again, the full group, all the guys that have been part of the Ocran, of the Heralds of Ocran from the start, and of course, some new faces that have replaced those that have been slain by the Wild Shack. But in any case, we have the boys going again. So, 
if I look at this, we now have 22 in the squad. We have four archers, Oiwe of course being the best one, and we have Hazard, Santorini and Sniper, leaving only one person back here. And uh, we have OP there to help if that's needed, or anybody else for that matter. And these guys are gonna go way down south to challenge the Shack once again. It's been a while since we've been down here, but we're gonna go and we're gonna challenge them. We're not gonna go uh, to Beast Watch unless we have to go there to just heal up or something. Uh, we're just gonna skirt around it. That place is gonna, I think, probably stay abandoned. Well, mostly abandoned without a uh, permanent uh, squad to guard it until we deal with the Shack Menace. And, uh, well, I intend to deal with the Shack Menace soon. At least we're gonna attempt to. That would be great if we could. In any case, we have some, well, kind of new faces before that were not part of the main Herald squad before. So, Red, Daro, and AD, of course. Uh, Swoop used to be one of the ninjas as well. Uh, one of the original infiltrators, while Sugar Bear unfortunately died. Uh, who else we have? Buck wasn't a part of the squad usually. And Infern and Godric are of course there. And, uh, well, Santorini and Sniper were also never part of this. But otherwise, well, we left Billy and Boner behind because poor dogs, well, they will help guard this place while we're gone. We don't really want to have them be struck down by the wild Shek. I think what we're gonna do first, we're gonna go towards the rebel base in the hub, see if uh, there's anything or anyone alive there still. If there is, we might slash them. And then we're gonna just go around towards uh, Squin. Just, you know, see what we can see there. If we have to, if we can pull some guards out, use our rangers, as I said, that's something we're gonna do to shoot them and kill them from very very far away and if you know the best thing would be to just pull them one by one like we did with a great fortress and then use our dudes over there to help fight now what we could do is use one of those seals that we have like on uh, Lucian over here the holy seals and uh, we can uh, we can ask a paladin squad to accompany us you know that would probably get messy if we do but we might do that. We'll, we'll see. In any case, let's go. Let's go down here, and we'll see what we can find along the way. Oh look, we're being under attack by some Holy Nation outlaws. Poor dudes. Oh wait, do you even have shackles? Do you even have shackles? Well, fine. What what are you doing here? What what are you doing over here? Why are we going into the bar? Why are we fighting the trade ninjas now? Alarm raised. Delinquents. Well, okay. That's, that's okay. Trade ninjas no hostile to you? That, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna go check if this uh, these guys had any food on them. If the trade ninjas had any food over here. Or anything useful. We just sold them the electrical components and they were just nice and friendly. That's That's weird. Banners and sign don't need that. I'll take your vegetables and we're gonna eat them. Root, uh, roof defecations? We don't need no roof defecations. Uh, doesn't really matter about that safe. I don't care. I don't want to steal from you. I'm not I'm not here for that. But I guess we are. I guess we are. Oh, who we have here? Okay, it's Trader's Guild. I thought maybe there's gonna be Shek. No, just the Trader's Guild. Let them be. We're gonna go towards the hub up here on the hill. And uh, we're gonna see what the hub has to offer today because last time we did clear out quite a lot of uh, those boys so you belong to trade ninjas well I'll tag them all then I guess that thing's down uh, you have useless stuff oh, so you've been attacking us is that how it is oh look it's Tango of the Holy Nation Outlaws good good <laughs> it's only not the Emperor Tango just a holy nation outlaw. Where are you guys going? There's really no need. Really no need, rangers. It's okay. We're gonna go together into the city. If anybody wants to fight us, well, let them fight us. Who are these? Traders Guild? That's okay. We have a shopping assault we need to uh, take care of so they can go buy all the stuff. And we'll do that soon. These guys are just relaxing. Okay. 
Hey, there you go. Undertaker. Holy Nation Outlaws. Take this Undertaker out. Undertake him out. He has nothing really useful. That's okay. I, if I remember correctly, we took you out before. Reinforcements. Didn't we take you all out before? I thought I did. Get them. They have 50 attack. That's good. Oh, there's more Undertakers. Let's take them down. Let's Undertake them. Oh boy, that, that was a lot of damage on everybody. I think he has a JIT. He does have a Mark II JIT. High plate, all that. It's good, but uh, we'll take your backpack. You definitely don't need that. We'll, we'll use that. I don't think Buck has a backpack. He does. Panzer? Panzer has it. Who doesn't have a backpack? Also, why would you not have a backpack? There you go. AD doesn't have a backpack. Perfect. Who, who had this backpack? Put it on AD. There you go. Perfect. And this man doesn't need this either. Thank you. Just a scratch. Yeah. Who are you guys going to fight? Dick, where are you going? He's stuck. Okay, Rangers, just just stop. There's really no need. I think somebody has changed that the great rich men, when they come over here, they actually pay the value price, not the sell value that you would usually get from people. Because they were just paying 40k for all those uh, black chain armors. And they basically made us over a million money right now. I don't know when that was changed. That was definitely not a case before, but uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of money these guys have. And uh, it, apparently they also do have more money in their inventory than they had before. I don't know what happened with this guy, why he's limping like that, but... Take care, spud of the great rich men. I appreciate this. I appreciate you guys leaving a million over here. We'll make sure to craft some more uh, crazy things just for you, my friends. No worries. Does the trade ninjas hate us? We could go into the bar over here and uh, take care of the bar as well. Hello, friends. Looking for something? Yeah. We're looking for trade ninjas. Caravan guards. Take them all out. Not in this town? Who are you fighting red out here? Oh, it's the Undertaker. That's okay. Some uh, pacifier with the hounds? Why are you, why are you fighting? <laughs> hounds are now hostile to you. Well, nobody cares about the hounds, really. These trader guilds guys don't care. That's good to know. More caravan guards that we can chop up. Why not? There's Denny still alive. There's this caravan guard crawling away. Not on my watch. Did we get them all? We got them all. Rangers are chasing this man around. Oiwe, I have no idea where are you going, buddy. Oiwe just went to melee that dude. Uh, that's probably not the smartest idea, my man. He might do bad things to you. That's better. That's, that's much better. Alright. You, Rangers, get back here. Sniper, how you doing? You're doing fine. We good? We good. There you go. The hub has been cleansed once again of the presence of, I don't know, nasty people. We might get to be wanted for the trade ninjas. Oh no, how horrible. We still have Wolfie being wanted by the flotsam ninjas. I need to go check. Oh, uh, excuse me. Um, Steve, go take care of this man. I want to I wanna see you do this, mano a mano. You guys just go out there. Steve's got this, dude. He doesn't even want to fight. We're not doing a lot of damage to him. For some reason, Steve. I don't know why. Just 20? Huh. You would expect this uh, Kakara to do a lot more damage, but... Maybe not. In any case, let's go towards... Uh, you are Trader Skills, so that's good. Let's go towards the Shack Lands. And uh, we'll see what we can accomplish there. Probably not too much. We're going there to more, more likely just kind of scout around rather than fight too much. We are back in the lands of the shack. There is Quinn just ahead of us. The place that we need to take. And the guardians guarding it. 79, 51, 71. 70, 67. 
Those numbers are not so scary as they used to be. We have warriors trained to protect us. Now the problem, of course, would be a lot of just people walking through here. That's, that's a lot of them. These guys that have like 50s and 30s don't scare us. Of course, the guardians do. But what we're gonna have to do is slowly, methodically clean this place out one building at a time before we can get to the main area which would be of course the place where Asara is with her five invincibles people that we really can't take out but our archers like Oiwe could so really this is there's a lot on Oiwe right now and people like Hazard as well he is also there now Santorini and Sniper not as good sure but they will get out there they will be ready I believe in them they their precision shooting is apparently good enough and now we're being attacked by wolves well nothing too shabby maybe we can actually use our martial artists quite well because if they can get in there and jump like having 50 martial artists martial artism can get some pretty nice attacks out and quite a lot of damage especially if you can hit them in the head because they don't have head protection and that's what we're going to be aiming for in any case this is going to do for today's episode we are back on the offensive we are back at the gates of squin and this time around we're not going home until the shack are defeated or we are i guess <laughs> in any case thank you everybody for watching the episode of Kenshi every day, 8 p.m. Century Beer, summertime, and I hope we'll see you there tomorrow. For now, go crowd.